So, so let me get this straight. I, and probably most of you, spent the last two weeks almost every day watching 10, 20, 10, 15 minutes of videos of ads to obtain stupid scrolls to hopefully obtain 10 of them and then exchange that for an epic. And after all of that, we're supposed to be getting a pretty decent legend um, and they put it in one of the events that is most notoriously impossible to complete for free. What is going on guys, Rain back, and uh, today I'm going to do my best to explain the Ingenica's Myth um, Progressive Island and what it's going to cost you. We, I've looked up a couple things on Reddit, a couple things on the internet of what these are going to cost you and then how quickly you might be able to obtain them and if you even can for free without spending any gems. Um, and then once we do that, I want to talk about quickly, after that, I got Furiel and Furina, uh, both of them bred. Uh, so if, we, if you guys want to watch, I'll probably do a different video. Uh, Holter's Bodyguard, Dungeon Master, and I'm going to get this legend uh, ranked up as well. Um, and then I'm going to put Furiel and Furina in that category too. Maybe a quick like 1 to 100, not 1 to 100, just 100. Their skills and what runes I'd recommend. Um, and if you feel like sticking around, I'll do some more gameplay at the end. i got five battles. I'll just knock them out at the end, take out whoever I can. Uh, but let's jump in. Oh, and Crotan. Oh my, or uh, Cryotan. This legend is going to be insane. The next Titan... I don't know what it's going to be, the Titan Battle, I don't know what it's going to be, it's like the next race, uh, I'm going to explain his skills and his amazing skills, um, and then kind of how it's going to work, there's only a little bit of information out, no one quite understands, but we're, I'm going to do my best at it, uh, but first, let's get into Ingenica's Forge Secrets, um, <laughs> I was probably just as upset as some of you are about this, um, now it doesn't look bad, and I'm sure most of you are like, oh, this isn't too bad, and, and it might not be. Um, it's hard to tell if they weighted this a different way as they usually do the progressive islands. Now I can tell you what each of these are going to cost because someone did the math with the hack. Um, this is what it is right here. This is, this is the note. Um, this is my notepad. Uh, this is what it costs for each one of the chests. So the first three chests are 113, 119, 134. Um, the next three are 105, 290, 288. And the last three are 450, 470, and then 470 again. Um, and if I'm going to compare that to something, this is just a comparison, so it's kind of accurate, kind of not. Um, I believe it's this, no. Uh, I believe, yeah, so Burning Rogue, uh, to get him to cost 5 gems, which is doable for everyone, it takes about 1 day and 21 hours to do the corrective, um, the path that he would have taken, which is probably pretty similar to the last 3 chapters, of uh, the last 3 uh, Forge uh, chests. And he only costs 350. So if we're talking, if you want to not have to pay for this, it's probably not going to happen for you. And and that really sucks for a lot of people. And I'm sorry, but that it's just not going to happen. Um, and then, uh, Ingenica herself is uh, 1845, and that's kind of similar to uh, what, what what legend was that? Um, the the most recent one, uh, Dungeon Master was 28. Um, the one before that was the Progressive Island. Melisha was 2,000. And her combined total to get her to uh, cost nothing was about five days. So just, you're going to have to spend money. And, and I'm going to give you, the best tip I can give you for this, if you want to complete it, is knock out these easy ones first. Um, the way that these, these Progressive Islands work is uh, the quicker you get um, a couple knocked out, the easier it is to do the ones that are tougher at the end because the way that they're weighted towards the end, um, if you have if you spent more time in that specific um, node, then it's going to cost you less. If you say say you start at forty and you've done nothing after eight hours, it might just jump to twenty for no reason, and that's just how these things work. Um, so I would recommend trying to knock out the early ones quickly. Hopefully, be an Angenica by the second or third day um if you really want angenica and what's really interesting is if you want if you do get angenica uh to rank her up to 110 is going to cost you about 120 gems uh the 120 cells is 40 gems that's all it is and then the 150 cells is only 80 gems right now i mean they might fix that but uh for now that's all it is um so like i said guys just 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 log in i mean oh and the last tip i'm going to give you as soon as you complete a node you can start fresh so it just restarts the the next node fresh so you can just all you want to do is just go into the gold and just spam oops, just spam collect 
um, until, and that's as soon as you finish node, just go back and collect until you get six, and same thing with feeding, go until you get four, uh, the breeding is just one and the hatching is just one, uh, but make sure you do those as soon as you finish a node so that you can get started on the very next step um, and have a better chance to get Angenica. Okay, now Angenica herself. I I like this legend. Uh, it's a pretty good support. It's not a game breaker. I mean, if you don't get this legend, you're not going to die. But this is a pretty solid uh, pretty solid legend in three books, which is is, is extreme. It's always the, be it's the best option. There's no legend that's in four. Uh, the fire category, tough, 35% less accuracy. Um, the super is... Uh, possesses all enemies and remove positive status effects and disables traits. Uh, but her best skill is the trait disabler. Um, I, I believe that's her best skill. Uh, removes all positive status effects and disables all traits. So if all the legends on the enemy team are immune to, uh, let's see, for fire, it'd be immune to burning, maybe immune to stun, one of those two. Um, it would disable all of that and then you can stun all those legends or burn all of them or whatever you'd want to do. Uh, also has massive m magic damage. And removes positive status effects. It's okay. This one's really good. Apply double damage to one and one ally. Apply outer effect hated to one ally, and removes negative status effects. This one's really good, especially if you're fighting like a tank Arion or a flame Arion. Those are some really strong legends, especially some tanky ones. And with double damage and artifact hater, um, I can imagine that really that would be able to take a. I think even a level, uh, a level ten rune life rune, uh, flame Arion because you're getting double damage and you're doing like triple damage with the or quadruple damage with artifact hater um and then tra trait disabled on one enemy and this trait disabled lasts for three turns so that's great um and then the last one i would probably pick uh the precision and artifact hater the double damage and artifact hater trait disabled and positive status effects removed and then i'd probably pick another trait disabled just in case i don't know if that, this can miss it looks like i can um so i definitely run the next uh, trait disabled um so that's cool uh this legend I do like, but it's not, like I said, it's not Dungeon Master. Dungeon Master is fantastic, and I do want to do a video on him, uh, putting him to 100, and then kind of putting the runes that I want to put on him, and I might actually buy the cells to rank him up. I don't know. It, to me, I have all these Nemesis Legends, and for me, there, there isn't going to be too many that are better than the Nemesis Legends, but this one can actually put all the Nemesis Legends in a bad position because it has the Tamarion skill, cooldowns activated, has that, and it has other good skills. So I might actually want to rank this one up and put some good runes on them just to compete against some of the Nemesis. Just, if you end up finding one, this would be a pretty good counter. Um, and then Holter's Wide, I gotta put him to 200 too. Uh, but then I do want to talk about Cryotan. Now, I, I, no, this is this is the first time I've seen his skills, and he's got damn near everything you'd want in a good legend. I mean, this this is gonna be a good one. Um, the one skill I'm not crazy about is the instant death. Uh, Condemned is the is the name for it. Um, Lathe has it, uh, Metalhead has it, and I think Uru has it. But that's his super. So let's just talk really quickly about his one of his regular skills is called Ubuia, or I don't know. I'm not going to pronounce this correctly. Deals heavy water damage. To, oh, that's not it. It's it's a difference. Well, fine. And this one right here, uh, Busai Montes, uh, freezes all enemies for two turns. It's a mega freeze, which is the first of its kind. This is going to be a great skill. This is going to be a legend you want to have. It, it'll it'll do well against. If this is a mega freeze and not just a freeze, um, then there won't be any legends immune to it. But I'm I'm guessing it's just a freeze. It's just two turn freeze. Um, this one's really cool too. Heavy water damage one enemy, freezes one enemy for two turns and condemns it to die after three. So, although there are legends that are immune to freeze, like a, a strong Oros that are tough to kill, condemn it, you can kill it in three turns, doesn't matter how long it has, you, it'll keep doing Juggernaut and healing and shielding, doesn't matter, you can kill it with condemn. Um, what else does this got? Uh, double life points to itself and applies a 50% shield, so it's also a tank, a taunt to itself and 100% shield, and then it's also got an extra turn scale. I mean, th this is going to be a fantastic legend. I would run this skill right here, the extra turn skill, um, doubles life points and applies 50% shield. I mean, taunt's great, but this legend, I'm going to put all speed on because of this skill right here. I, I, two, turn, two turn freeze, that, this is one of the strongest skills in the game, is a two turn immobilization on the entire team. One of the strongest skills in the game. Ophuichus is amazing, and there are a couple of legends that have two turn um, uh, denies, uh, cabin fish, frostbite, but th this one's going to be fantastic. So I'm gonna, I'd run that, those two, probably this one, the Condemn, and then the, the Shield one. One of these two. I don't know which one of these two, but a fantastic legend. And uh, So this event, it's coming up. It'll probably be after the maze, I'm guessing. 
Um, it's going to be the new Titan. It's going to be like a, a race almost, uh, the way that the challenges work. Where is the challenges? It's up here somewhere. Okay, so uh, Titans are invading. Uh, several teams have come, and yours is among them. Uh, preparation stage, blah, blah, blah. Uh, you're, you're basically put in these events, just like the race, uh, where you complete quests to unlock the battle stage. Now, you can see here on the screen, uh, first member to breed two monster, rare monsters is kind of common. Seven mem members must breed one monster. All members must contribute to collect 10 million gold. Um, and then once you completed that, you have this what looks like two hour window for everyone to fight this Titan. And you definitely want to be on, on check with your team to do this. Um, so the more you, com you know, the more you fight him, the stronger he gets. And then you complete more stages and you get to the next stage. It, it, this is going to be in a new event. It's going to be insane. It's going to be crazy. It's going to be fun, hopefully, but it's definitely going to be crazy. Um, at the end of the event, teams will get rewards based on the damage they inflicted on the Titan. If you're the one taking down the Titan, your team will get a massive score boost. Now, I hope this doesn't mean that the person that killed the Titan, say your team does 3% damage, but one of the teams does 27, but the team that did 3% was the one that killed him because they just happened to be there. I, I don't know how this is going to work. I don't think that would be very fair, but I also don't know how this is going to work. Social Point's been doing pretty good lately about <sighs> squeezing every cent out of people, so I don't know what they're going to have to do about this. So we'll, we'll get to that when we get to that. Um, but that was really the last thing I believe I had for you guys. Um, I definitely want to talk about his skills. His skills were amazing. Uh, Yuri's bodyguard and then the Nemesis Faraday. This one, this one's going to be this one's going to be the bad one. This one's going to be the insane game break. Like if if Voltaic and Zyla are the two hands down best attackers in the game. I couldn't imagine what this nemesis is going to be able to do because he's in the same category and the electric category is notorious for being the one that has the most extra turn skills. I don't know how this is going to work, but I think it's going to be really extremely powerful. Uh, so there's that. All right. Now, if you want to, st if you stick around for this long, maybe you want to watch some gameplay. I don't know if you guys like me talking over gameplay or if you guys like uh, tracks for him. So maybe I'll just split it up. Maybe I'll do a little bit of both, but um, let's see who we got. I don't think this was... And it's same more, but I know the top three were pretty strong on their team. All right, so let's see. Now, we're losing. We're getting killed this. Well, we're getting killed because half of our team left. Yeah, half, hmm, half of our team left and half of our team are level 20s, level 20s, level 30, 30, 25, 25, 25, 50. So uh, half our team left. So this 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 war is useless for us. We Half our team, if we don't have anyone. So I will try to take on the best team that I can. Um, with what I have, so I will do, actually, let's just go team speeds, team speeds, team speeds. Um, do I need Leta back here, or Dickie? I think, hmm, do I have any team speed with a strength? Because they have all speed, and that's what, that's what scares people. Oh, there we go, this is perfect. Now, hopefully I can go first here. Um, yeah, I should be able to go first, mm, that's tough. No, you know what? I should go first here. Yeah. So I will make sure I... Who am I more concerned about? Deedee's or Nishan's pet? Hmm. I'm more concerned about Deedee's because he's perfect. That's exactly what I needed. So, <clears throat> as long as my Nautilus gets a turn in, I should be okay. Uh, I don't think Vampira does too much here. Yeah, that's what I want. Remove 50% of stamina. Is that really what I want? Vampire is not great, but I think I was able to breed her luckily in a couple events. So I just kind of, I don't know, I, I think I got lucky. Um, actually, could, what I could do here is just take away um, Nishant's pet's stamina. So I know that I can't get um, taken out here by anything but a super. So I should be fine. Perfect. Okay, now you guys will see how broken uh, Nautilus still is. And we've talked about this before. Um, one of the strongest legends of the game. You do that, you do that. Throw in the freeze for good measure. I mean, how do you get a turn that magnetizes targets, a turn that hits them with a magnetic attack, an AoE freeze, and then you get another turn on top of that? I mean, this is best legend, best epic in the game because it's broken. Um, my biggest threat here is probably Thedes. So I probably could have just, uh, Probably could have just um, uh, recharged there, so I can get my Prey Becomes Hunter again. But I, I knew this game, this match was probably over. So 
that wasn't too bad. I mean, that was a strong team, but again, if you guys have learned anything from, if you guys take anything away from my channel at all, know that team speeds are extremely important in this game. I, I'm not a great YouTuber, I know I suck, I, I try to give you guys entertaining gameplay, but man, that is such an important uh, aspect of this game. So, who do we have, who, who do they have? Um, well, 130, Barbatos, that's not good. As long as I go before that Thedes, I should be okay. Thedes, uh, speed to go before Thedes, is that more? Yes. Actually, yeah, that is slightly more, so I can put whoever I want in this third slot. Um, someone that can take out Boltasar. Ooh. Actually, you know, I'll just take my Barbatos. We'll make this a, an even match, but just slightly better. Yeah, see, my team speeds are a little bit faster than his. Um, so, my Barbatos won't go for those, so hopefully he doesn't get a super. If he gets a super, I might be screwed. So... I don't think I'm too worried. I mean, that Barbatos can definitely tank me in one turn. Come on, don't get lucky. Okay, because Ledovac has a really strong super. So all I have to do is... Oh, wait, no, this is my Barbatos. Give himself double damage. And then the super should probably kill everyone but um, Barbatos. But I think I can put it an effect on Barbatos to take away stamina. As long as I land it, perfect. <laughs> the burning uh, will damn near kill him. What did I just do? Oh, this is one of the relics I told you guys to put on your Thedes. If you can get one, that there's, there's even a silver that has like gained 22 stamina, get it up to 28, 29, 30, and you can use an attack again on Thedes, which is one of the best setups you can run for that for your Thedes. Um, like you saw there, if I hadn't had that and I had missed on Barbatos, he would have killed my entire team. Um, because even if I'd missed, I, I had the extra uh, the freeze from this attack. So, if my Barbatos had missed on his, um, I wouldn't have had the chance to do anything with my Degant to hurt him. Because um, Degant doesn't have to deny But he's a great support legend. So, two easy battles. Let's see what we got here for our third. Holy moly, 120 Wolfenin. I don't know how to pronounce that. Wolfetagonin. I don't know. Okay, so we can put my Chance pet... We gotta do a really high. Yep, yeah, my Ledovec. That's pretty. That's higher than his. So my these or my the chance should be going before his. But if I have one legend with one strength, mm, I don't. Uh. Oh wait, I can put my put anyone I want into my Ledovec here. Perfect. So do I have one that has some speed and a team speed? Hmm. Who do I want here? I think I want to use my Vampirium. So immune to immune to possession. Do I have someone else that I can take here? So that's such a, mm. You know what I can do? This would be kind of cool for you guys. Um, uh, I hopefully I'm editing this okay. Mm. Take my defense off for two seconds so I can use them in my war. And <laughs> I'll show you guys that you don't even need uh, a deny legend when you have the Samuel that I have, or just any Samuel really with the extra turn skill. So, Sammy, what is he at? Sammy, team speeds. Is that gonna go before that these? That's close. Do I have one any legend with one team speed and then strength? I don't think so. So I'll just take a chance here. I really don't know what his speed is. We'll say it's good enough. We'll take a chance. I don't really care. We're not gonna win this war. <laughs> Alright, cool. And then put that right on Vampirium. Extra turn of precision. And Vampirium definitely has I think it's got uh, special attack. It's only 35 attack. It's only 35. Oh, maybe I'm wrong. And that's not going to kill Thedes. So who's my biggest threat here? They, they all have the same strength. Move stamina. That'll kill one of them, but it's not really going to hurt me that bad. Uh, this won't kill any of them. That sucks. But I don't know why I used... Actually, I don't, yeah, I don't know why I didn't use a stronger legend, seeing as I didn't need any more team speed on this one. That might be my fault. Um, I feel like I should just take out one of these guys. 
Stamina Devourers are glitched. Let's just go after one of them. Because if I wasn't going to kill anyone, that one, that, I'd just hopefully get one. Oh, that's not good on my Samuel. Um, but I can freeze one of them, and I should be able to get some... Okay, I still have damage, so I... This, this, maybe this won't turn out too bad. But my... What I'm most afraid of is that my... Uh, Yeah, let's just make him bleed. Then my Samuel might bring back the Thedes from the dead because he's got <clears throat> the heal skill. Or the resurrect skill. So please do not bring him back. Recharge. Yep, it's exactly what I thought I was going to do. Uh, so it restarts the turns, and that's not good. It skips my Samuel, and now <laughs> glitches. God, okay, so this um, it has no strength, so... I don't think it'll be able to kill anything unless it goes right after Ledovec, which it did. That's fine. Um, because I think, I know the damage has decreased. That's, that'll kill Glitch. And that'll damn near kill. Hmm. My Ledovec is possessed, so that's not good. Hmm. So I can kill. Oh, am I worried about Thedes more? I don't know. I can just heal and then hopefully just stay alive. So I'll heal my letter back. Because <sighs> Glitch is going to die, and Wolfing, I'm not really concerned about. It. I don't even know what his skills are. He'll be able to. He'll stun one of these legends. I think Vampirium's immune to stun. Oh, I actually got them recharge there? Okay. That's fine. Perfect. Perfect. Glitch is gonna die. I don't know how much it's gonna take off the wolf or I don't think it's gonna be enough. Yeah, it'll, it'll kill him next turn, but I don't know what other skills he has. What? 23,000? What's his strength? I'm not mad about that, I guess. How did he. Wait, did he. Oh, he helped. Is he healing? I don't remember. I don't really care. I shouldn't be. I shouldn't lose any other legends from this unless I get frozen. Perfect. Uh, this will kill Thedes. The bleeding will kill Thedes. Uh, I don't think I can do anything. <laughs> of course. Samuel's worst worst uh, trait is that he can... <laughs> he doesn't have any... Cool his cool cooldowns will kill him, like, damn near every time. Because his cooldowns are like 5, 4, 5, and 6 or something like that. They're terrible. That's fine. I'm not, I'm not worried about this guy. That's... Oh my god, still no cooldowns. Alright, regeneration. I have no... I don't even see another turn in. Hopefully it's not super. Oh, that's an interesting skill. Oh, let's just... I think I just recharged too, so I should be okay. Precision I wasn't worried about missing, so... That wasn't a tough battle, but Ledovec, I mean... One th I think 33,000. I guess it was a strong attack. But still. Alright, here we got 12. Um, getting the chance. So immune to possession. So we gotta take a legend that can stun. So we'll go with Mommy. What's their fastest legend here? And the chance. So I need. Oh man. I don't know if I have one fast enough here. Let's just. Mm, yeah. Mm, yeah, let's take a freezing legend. That's perfect. And take anyone we want here. And take. More team speeds. So I should go first here. Yeah. My team speed matches and definitely my my 105. <sighs> What's his name? Hydrotila. Immune to freeze, so please don't miss. Miss Chance Pet, please don't miss the Chance Pet. Okay, easy, easy, easy. <clears throat> One of the biggest threats in these some of these war battles is uh, getting possessed and then by your strongest legend and now you can no longer um, you can no longer just automatically be charged sometimes you, you might die which kind of sucks but it, it, I think it's fair I think it makes it so that the game's less less predictable and you can't rely on possession always working either so okay, and then one of my favorite epics even though it's super underrated I've never seen him getting used in any war battles 
Look at that A we stun land. I don't, and he's breedable. Why does no one have him ranked up? I don't get that. <laughs> Alright, so I'll take out Nishan's pet and then freeze perfect Pandolfio. Get one more turn. I mean, he's, he, he's gonna die from bleeding out. Thought I missed that. A lot of people think that Hydra T is one of the, is not that great of a legend, but ranked up. Even even I think this is the water one. He's got two Avery freezes, and you know you're not going against a freeze legend. He's a solid legend, especially against Thedes, because if Thedes lands attack, you're kind of screwed. All right, what do we got left? We got now this team. This team's pretty strong because they obviously they're kicking our ass. Um, unit possession, so we need someone that doesn't have possession. Go with. Actually, you know what? I told I talked about mommy in a pretty good way. Let's just use mommy, and then I need some team speed. Do I have any here? Mm, nothing great. I don't really want to use Nautilus because I'm not really strengthening my epics a lot then. So we'll use. I don't really want to use Wind Prime either. Let's just use Frostbite, and then will I go first here? No, there's too much team speed. I need a full team speed legend or an epic. Mm -hmm. I don't think I have any good team left. Oh, no, this. Okay, this. So well. Actually, no what? I don't think I'll go first there. I'd rather have Jasper. It's got three team speed and tens. This is level 69. How's he got three level 10 team speeds on his Nautilus? Or his Lost? Um, I don't know if I'll go first here. That's a lot of team speed. You know what? We're gonna do something dumb here. No, we're gonna keep this. I don't want to take a chance. I mean, I don't really care. I got my coins. I might not go first this battle, but I'm more concerned about. Okay, well I got lucky there. Um, just we'll go for the possession on DD. So hopefully it'll take away or freeze. And it missed on Dee's, and it doesn't. I know it didn't do it to uh, glitch, but that was not a good, not a good turn for me. And I'm probably gonna get taken out here. He's got damage boost. Okay, my, my strongest legend is confused. So that's not good. Um, I have to go after. Wait, did that one positive? I didn't think it did. Okay, so we'll go after Dee's. Did I just not drain stamina? What was that? <clears throat> Alright, stun all, please. Alright, I'll take that, I guess. <sighs> what is this? Stun all targets and make all targets bleed. I will be happy with that. If I get lucky in this battle because of that, I guess I'll take it, right? That was more than luck. I mean, that was... But my, my Nautilus can still freeze at least one of my teammates. Actually, both of them. I forgot Frostbite has a terrible trait. I'll just hopefully recharge here. Actually, you know what? I'm not, you know, I'll recharge. Yeah, that's fine. Great. That was the only attack I didn't want to use. <laughs> oh, man. Alright, well... Oh, the only attack I didn't want to use was the AoE Freeze. Because now he's got a chance. And he's got three turns in a row. And he's definitely going to take out that one. Definitely going to get him. The boss is still stunned. But Glitch has a turn. I'm going to lose my epic here, I think. I don't remember if he's, still, if he's close enough. Yeah, he's not close enough to die. That's too bad. Well, that's fine. I, was gonna say, I can't say I really deserve this attack. Um, what do I want to do here? Apply stamina lead to all targets. I can just kill Thedes. I'll get to go again. That attack doesn't show the way it should. Because that, that was just the end of it. I should have used it the first time. If I'd known that was... I don't remember, I don't remember what I used for Jester. Jester. I love Jester. He's one of my favorite legends. I'd, I'd say top 5 in the game right now. Top five without the nemesis sessions. <laughs> okay, so I, I mean, I, I had some, I had some solid battles. Uh, took on the top five. They were pretty close to where I'm at. I would say in the game, 
Uh, but they're they're smart. Look at these. They're running well. And they they got team speeds on the epics, which is what you want to see. And no one's challenged me yet because they know that <laughs> going against some legends with team speeds and some really strong all team speed or all speed uh, out front are some pretty strong uh, opponents. So that's that's all I had. Uh, hopefully, I, I don't know. I'll probably leave my commentary on the gameplay. I, I don't really want to, but. I know it's going to make it long, but at the same time, I know that some people like seeing like how I make decisions because, like I said, I usually do really well on war. I usually end up with, as you can see, um, 12 to 15 coins, and that usually just depends on you know missing an attack, like missing DDs on that uh, possession. But uh, that's all I had. Like I said, if you guys want to get Angelica, you have to kind of push the first few chests really quickly out of the way. Um, they're on like this weird like eight-hour... Like every eight hours, it gets reduced somehow. I don't know what the percentage is, but that's really that's really just how that's gonna work. If you want to push for it, do it. I, I think she's a good legend, but she's not not game breaking to the point where you need her to um, really progress in the game. So, thanks for watching. Hope you guys liked the video. As soon as Faraday has his skills online, you guys will know I'm the first one to. Well, I'll do my best to be the first one to put it online with an analysis. But if you want to see Holter's pet dungeon master, uh, Furiel and Furina. Uh, it's like 100 skills and then uh, rune sets that I would recommend uh, let me know because I, those videos don't do really well and if you guys don't want to see that I won't do it if you guys want to see something else just let me know uh, but thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one